Good morning, this is Jim's Little Boat, and I am Jim. I'm in the workshop this morning, whining about my trailer. You know when you park the boat on the trailer, the keel is supposed to line up in that little rubber V-block? Seems like mine only hits about half the time. The other half the time is off to the right or left, and it leaves a little gouge in the keel, and that's irritating, and it's been on my list for three years. And I'm wondering if I could fix that. The problem is I'm not a welder. I don't have any metalworking equipment. And if I did, I wouldn't be very good at it anyway. So I'm going to try to find a non-welding solution to this whole irritating deal. Just for fun, I snapped a line from the V-block back to the corner of the trailer. That should help me figure out what I would have to do to make a board fit to snug it all up. My idea is that if I could cut the right angle on a board here and make a bracket over here that bolted there, I could actually attach the board to that V-block. When I get to the back corner, I could taper down the 2x4 and it should fit and bolt to that cross me that member right there. So let's dink around with this and see if we can make that happen. After dinking around over here on the compound miter saw, I came up with this angle that I think will make that board fit if I can make the bracket. And this particular angle is 41 degrees from the base and the head is tilted over 26 and a half degrees. And you know, it looks like it's gonna work. Let's go make the bracket and see if it does. Here's a little sketch of the bracket as I envision it based on the lines I got from the strings. I'm going to make mine out of aluminum since I don't have any steel or means to work it. I'll hold here for just a second so you can get the dimensions and pause. Or you could send me an email and I'll email you a copy of the photo. Looks like it'll fit. Let's go make another one. Wow, the nut came right off. I did not expect that at all, not even a little bit. I'll probably have to drive the bolt out with a hammer. If you do this at home, you should probably expect you won't have this much luck. You'll either need heat, or you might have to go buy or borrow a nut breaker. Here's the assembly, ready to go put on the trailer. Boy, that came apart easier than I ever would have guessed. Let's go give it a shot. So we've got galvanized steel, ungalvanized steel, and aluminum. Practically a corrosion sandwich. That is not perfect, but it's pretty dang close. I think it fits okay. It's gonna be hard to duplicate because the saw does not flip over the other side to reverse the angle. I may have to cut it with a hand saw. After I had the front end all figured out, I just held the board up to the trailer and traced it. I cut one of these with a handsaw and one with a bandsaw. It's a long, slow cut with a handsaw. I made a countersink for a 3 8 bolt to hold the board to the trailer, and I'm going to go ahead and drill that hole through the trailer now. And maybe we'll put this whole thing together. In order to drill these holes, first thing I did was go over to Home Depot and get some brand new sharp bits. I center punched it and I did a quarter inch hole on each side with a sharp bit. And you'll know it's sharp when you get a curly cue like that. Go slow, push hard. I kind of tacked the whole thing together here. And I'm not very happy about this angle at all. I have measured it with a pencil and marked it. I'm going to go see if I can recut that a little closer. Worst case scenario, sand or hand cut. As it turned out, the compound miter saw wouldn't adjust far enough to get the angles I needed. So I'm just uh, chopping it off here with a hand saw. It's sharp. It's one of the cheap Stanley ones you get over at Home Depot. Not a splendid piece of engineering. In fact, it's not even very good carpentry but it's secure enough that I think it'll work. Now my major concern is that the boards really aren't tall enough to do a good job of centering. 
but I didn't want to risk getting them too tall and getting hung up on the hull. So I'll tell you what, I'll try this out at the end of the summer and then we'll see if it works. And if it does work or doesn't work or needs modification, I'll make a little video to go with this one. Well, as it turned out, all this fancy woodworking equipment I have wasn't very helpful because the angles were so hard to compute. Uh, I did use a handsaw and a bandsaw on cutting the long tapers. I just wanted to do a handsaw so that I could be convinced that if you didn't have a bandsaw, you could do it with a handsaw. It's a long, slow cut. Get a sharp saw. That'll work. And I used a hacksaw and uh, some drills. So really, you don't need a lot of equipment to make these boards the way I did. I think they'll work. I don't know. I'll let you know come October. Mm -hmm.